I heard Nick typing a little while ago, and then I checked Twitter. Oh, we're back. Yep, I can see it. Yep. Yeah, I can read it. You can fight with your mask on, and you can talk without it. <laughs> yeah, Jared. With his mask on, he can't be recognized for attacking people. <laughs> Despite the fact he's supposed to be the most famous person there. <laughs> yeah, it's a psychological thing. <laughs> Simon, he's a nerd and he doesn't like um, Marine living in his backyard and you have to like um, convince him to uh, let Marine stay in his backyard with a cigarette. So you're trading a backyard for a cigarette. Yeah, you can... Really? We've all disconnected? No, no, we're, we're here. I mean, yeah. Oh, uh. Ross is dis Ross is in the, uh, Ross is in the chat, though, so it's cool. Well, like what Oven says, like, you can select, like, I can beat him black and blue if you help me out, but you don't actually need to, you can still talk to him, or you can beat up... Well, you can still beat him up, though. <laughs> Talking and fighting against the separate worlds. <laughs> I like Marine's full name as well. It's like, um... Uh, Master Marine Madison something. It's like it's supposed to spell M4. That would be the typing, yes. Oh, well, you know, the wind's always blowing, Arvind. And in all seriousness, I'll try to see what I can do about that.
that you have control over our lives and actions. Abuse this the way every live stream has always abused it. I'm here. I'm back. The internet works in mysterious ways. This this Skype ain't big enough for the four of us. Oh, good. Five <laughs> actually, of us. Five of us. Actually, if I'm honest, I've never seen Ian and Ross at the same time. Kind of makes you think. Kind of makes you wonder if Vijay isn't the only one who's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Ian puts on the will fight for food mask, he becomes me. Okay, I okay, Ross, say something in a British accent. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> say, Moses supposes his toes are roses in a British oh, accent. No. Okay, I have to say that, you know, as, as much as I'm sort of watching this dialogue like, huh, the line, okay, if I don't become a baller in 30 days, do I get my front yard back? Might be the greatest line from any video game ever published. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. Probably not today. <laughs> Have a had us, thanks. Man, we were... Uh, actually, I guess you guys were behind the uh, TF2 development thing, but... Man. Sure are capitalizing on the demand for hats created by Manco. Unrest tie-in hat. Oh man, what would it be? It would be Shyam's mustache and it would go on the soldier.
Just this entire game works really well out of context, like, <laughs> so the shirtless guy from the intro, he became mayor. <laughs> oh. That's what you do. Yep. <laughs> this game has some interesting idea about the police and law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as a member of the Role Playing Games Association at UCI, and mostly we uh, we played board games. Uh, we had uh, LARP events that happened once every month, and we would just beat the shit out of the baseball team. Oh, I I <laughs> I did add him, and did he disconnect again? Oh man! Oh, what is up today? Just what? What is What's up with the youth? Like, I know, I know my domain name is busted, but... So... I hate to bring it to you, Arvind. You can't actually be heard on the stream right now. What? Yeah, Arvind can't be heard on the stream. It's just Ross and Rutz talking about the game. But I was barely talking. Yep. My brain is full it's of a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Why is it in here, you? Oh, um... Okay, has anybody heard Arvind at all? Because I think I have. Originally, but ever since I disconnected, he's gone. Oh, okay, um... The only thing I can think is that Procaster just isn't picking up your mic audio. Maybe this was a ploy. Let's solve this. Okay, n how about now? Mm. Yes, now we can hear you. Yeah, okay, yeah! Wait, Josh is volunteering to replace Erwin. Like, yeah, can we do that actually? Because, like, I have much more home at, like, just making snarky comments instead of, like, playing I... and snarky comments. I don't can think I have Josh on Skype. Woohoo, okay, so that problem is solved. Luckily, it was only like 44 minutes into the stream. But hey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thankfully. Yeah, th thankfully. So uh... let's go to the downtown area of this. So Jared <laughs> yes. is just the kind of guy who talks to fire hydrants. Kung like, Fu Kim. Yeah. Like, we, th this fire hydrant has a very interesting story in that, like, I wanted a fire hydrant because, like, I guess that's what you have in America. I mm -hmm. guess. 
fire but, hydrants. But like the artist just like came back with a golden fire hydrant that that looked like it was plated <laughs> with gold. Uh, I don't know where uh, they made uh, the, like that looks yeah, that's, nothing I guess like any uh, fire hydrant. Like I guess that's like I'm, Hollywood or the richer neighborhoods in America. I'm totally glad I'm not that dark. Thirties brass fire hydrant. So the problem with fire hydrant like okay, is because we couldn't have props um, in the game. Like we move at the fire hydrant and it had to be a sprite, and because we couldn't hide if you could talk to sprites or not, you could talk to the fire hydrant. So we had to give a dialogue. <laughs> you can do the same with the lampposts, but the lampposts are okay. so tall you can't see that they're sprites. Yeah. See, like this is actually a, an interesting limitation. Uh, what happens is you have this sign drawn on top of the sprite. The lamp post is so tall that the sign is drawn outside of your field of view. So we never had to script dialogue for that. But yeah, this level is funny because it's got the police and um, you have a bunch of mafia mob bosses who have um, bought up their donut place and turned it into a pizza place. Yeah, that's just how like we roll, I guess, yeah. Yeah, they're not actually committing any crime, but the police want their donuts back. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Wait, Wait what? did we disconnect again? Like, can somebody No, I can ask? see. I can see. You're moving around and uh, stuff. Yeah, I can see you moving around. We're just not talking much. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> This has been a really roller coaster day, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> the stream is working pretty well for me, actually. Yeah. Okay, everything's fine. So I actually regret putting so many homeless people into the game because that got us the reputation of this being a bum fighter simulator. Yeah, like I'm not like to be honest, like I would like not make the same game if I were like now basically. Like as you can probably yeah. see with unrest. This was actually I was literally in college. And like I was mm. like kind of like and this was sort of meant to be like a cartoon thing, which like doesn't excuse like some of the insensitive stuff this game might have said. But yeah, otherwise yeah, like I wouldn't make the same game again. And I like totally it's, apologize yeah. if like some of this like It's really not that insensitive. I mean you can play the whole game without beating anybody up, honestly, and yeah, I mean, I, like, I we tried, uh, like, at that point, I sort of tried my best to, like, not be insensitive and stuff. But I can totally imagine, like, college Irvin being, like, a dick to people. So, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah like, <laughs> so, wait, do we want to solve this by violence or by, like, like, to just, like, super smooth talking thing? I don't know. Do we like know. Marco? Which like, do you I think, like Marco. I don't know. Which, which do you think is more photogenic, Irvin? <laughs> oh, well, let's just beat this fucker up. I remember Marco's plays being quite a difficult fight, actually. Probably not as bad as Kim's or Lily's. Like, Lily's level is insane to oh my God. go through, beating people up. I, 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 I can't pull the combos that I remember. That like. You mean um the dash and the kick? Yeah, the dash and the double dragon kick. Like. Yeah, you just um, press oh, yeah, C and then Oh, yeah, that's the one. Kick. Yeah, okay, so that's C and X. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this is, this oh is an answer to a question. I'm getting beat up in my own fucking game. Like, this is an answer to a question a lot of people sometimes uh, you know, wonder about, which is, are developers really good at their own games? <laughs> yeah. And the answer is no, not always. <laughs> oh Sorry, well, Fight Fruit yeah. is really difficult to fight for, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> my god, I just completely messed that up because like, the fight is actually like, you kind of have to beat this guy up before the other two, before security gets to you. But like I just totally messed that up with my this thing. Yeah, I like this guy's portrait a lot, Marco. Like, yeah, Marco is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that that wasn't a, like a, a very good advertisement of the game, I I have to say. But yeah, that's kind of like will fight for food in a nutshell. You often just like <laughs> wait. What? I just want to say that line in a Shakespearean accent. Oh, all this violence over ringed snack. <laughs> <laughs> this is Wolf Five Food in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the key the appeal of this is knowledge. basically that you can just like beat up anyone at any time. So you, like, I can beat up people here. I can beat up people in the other level. But I can, I can also like try to talk to them and like solve just, things more peacefully. Just like in real life. 
<laughs> yeah. It's like in real life, you can attack anyone who you want, but there's no guarantee they won't beat the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah the police just won't show up. <laughs> like, honestly, in this game, the forest rangers are probably more of a threat to you than the police are. Yeah, the forest rangers, like, I'm not fighting those guys, because those yeah, guys no, are like, Yeah, no, the forest rangers are dangerous. <laughs> If you mess with Lily, it's like you have to teleport out of that yeah. level because it just gets insane. Just like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't beat up yeah. your ex. <laughs> People will hunt you relentlessly. Yeah. So this was also one of like those features which, uh, like, I sort of, uh, like, had to cut. Like, earlier, like, I think the, the katana thing, like, on the wall, like, this, like she would kind oh of God. go there and, like, pick up a katana and then, like, totally, like, beat you up if you... The most insane one, yeah. So Lily, um, Karate Kim, she was supposed to use a katana. Um, Lou was supposed to be invincible and you'd have to beat up her truck, but she'd use her truck as a weapon. Arming was, uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I was, yeah, I, I was just going to say that, uh, the, describe what we're watching because we're getting a lot of new viewers now. Okay. okay. So this is our previous game, Will Fight for Food, before that. Uh, we thought that for the launch party, playing the game that's about to launch in an hour, like, would be kind of weird, like, be like, ha ha ha, so once you stop watching the stream, go and play the same game again. So, <laughs> so yeah, instead we are playing our previous game, and, like, it's, it's called Will Fight for Food, it's like a combination of brawler and RPG thing. You can sort of see where Unrest came from if you see this game, but not really, like, most of this stuff was, like, cut for good reason. The tone is very silly. The combat is mediocre. Yeah, and like it's it's on top of that, this lagging, it's just lagging like a lot. So here we have like Kim. She's the chief of police, and she's also like an expert in like martial arts because like the like that's what chief of police are. Well, yeah, okay. So everyone used to be a fight. All the important characters used to be in a fighting league. So yeah. Kim used to be karate. Um, Lou used to be luchador. Um, Jared, I suppose, was supposed to be Luchador as well, but just ends up punching people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like more of a, like, he was the big strong Luchador instead of the small nimble Luchador, I guess. But anyway, I'm Makes not sense. an expert on wrestling. Literally, like, yeah, I haven't seen a wrestling match in like five Did years. Did you have a sumo wrestler? Yeah. No, not a sumo wrestler, yeah. Like, that that, that seems like a missed opportunity. Like, okay. Yeah, this well, we only have like wrestling. eight main characters, so like, we can't have all the stereotypes, like, come on, like. <laughs> but yeah, so so here Kim is asking us why we have a manic smile, and in case like you like you're a new viewer, it's because we beat up the mob that was troubling the police. With the troubling opened a pizza restaurant where that donut store was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So in this case, like this is one of those things where, like, she's kind of like weird. Like everyone in Wilfred Food gets weirded out when you like use combat. Like they're not like, yeah, you beat the guy. Yeah. Though in this case, she's like, be like, yeah, I'll turn a blind eye to it if, if it means my people here can get off their chairs again. Which is weird because there are no chairs here, but hey, like, yeah, indie game budget, so. I don't think there's anyone that reacts positively to you beating people up. Yeah, this was actually one of the more positive ones. Um, I think Lily might actually, but you have to use exits using the map as well, but because there aren't level exits. Let's go. Where's the academy? Yeah, let's go to the academy. Oh, the hey, academy. The academy. Oh academy no. Yeah. This we is... have no. We have we have to do the academy positively. We have to like be nice to everyone because this is like the only forced combat in the game in the academy. Yeah. Okay, so let's start by uh, moving to the jock side of the thing, which is like totally trashed up and stuff. Not that trashed up. It's a bit trashed up. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> the roles are reversed in the academy. The nerds rule everything. The jocks are there oppressed. <laughs> yeah, because they have invented power armor. Like, you'll see power armor, like, shortly in the game. This was supposed to look like a 40k environment, but they just kind of got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was sort of too ambitious. And on top of that, kind of like, 
we didn't want Here's to be hit with a... Here's my favorite name in the game. What the? Jared, I thought your species became extinct like the dinosaurs. <laughs> yes, because he's supposed to be called Raptor, no, yeah. it's a racist. Yeah, yeah, no, Les wrote this dialogue, yeah, I completely disowned this dialogue. Yeah, Les, that's like Les's. Jocks yeah. and there's it's a fight. It's supposed to be a joke about dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then there's yes, it comes off very Julio. insensitive. They're supposed to be best friends, though, so it doesn't matter. It mostly comes off actually like uh, it mostly comes off like a weird sort of uh, Franz Reiner quote, <laughs> like from Doctor McNinja, where Franz Reiner is like the Danish guy who doesn't really speak English, and he kind yeah. of talks it stilted action movie dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it is a bit like that. There's a lot of this game that was inspired by. Doctor by Dr. McNinja, I won't lie. And we all know that Unrest used to be about dinosaurs with sunglasses and guns, and yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Dr. McNinja basically was the inspiration for that. <laughs> yeah. So this is, uh, so this is like, the, them sort of, this is the backstory of the Power Armor. It was funded by a startup. Like, it was made by a startup from this college, so naturally they had to arm, like, the nerds in this college first, <laughs> before it went public. So yeah. Here's the Power Armor. Like, totally in sync animation, something we actually solved for unrest, like, halfway through development. Earlier, like, oh, these yeah. animations used to get synced up a lot. The power armor has the weirdest, like, it vanishes a bit if they punch sometimes, which is, I don't know why, I have not solved it. But, yeah. If you actually beat up the nerds outside, you get attacked by the Power Ranger armors, so, like, um, all the nerds come out in power armor, dressed in the Power Ranger colors, which is amusing. <laughs> but we're Do not they combine? Punch no, they don't. No, that, that was outside of our budget, combining them into one super nerd kind of thing. But but okay, yeah, this is the secret code for this. So to get access to the Chancellor, you have to like tell them which uh, sci-fi movie is the best. So is Space Trek Episode 5 or Solar War Unclear Fusion the better movie? I Solar War and Clear Fusion, but whichever <laughs> you pick, half the nerds aren't going to like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't exactly, matter which one yeah. you pick. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's that's kind of just like totally deconstructing our game right here. Like we had constructed this elaborate thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I did I call that? Right. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you open up uh, GOG's site, then the first thing you see is a giant unrest banner. So I think we're online. Holy shit! Let me see that actually. Yeah. Exactly. Check it out. Oh, nice. GOD.com. GOD.com. Yeah, somebody screenshot it so I can be like, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about GOG.com? Look at this. I oh, my Excuse God. Excuse me while I buy pre order The Witcher right now. Thank you, GOG. No, come back, GOG. Bad GOG. Oh. Like, get, get me to unrest. Oh, yeah. God, we're sharing, we're sharing the volume. Stop showing the other banners as well. Yeah, <laughs> like, how come we have to share our, like, game with, like, five other plebs? Can't we God, just like, yeah. I like how one of the These banners is the banner games saga. As well, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, fucking sweet! Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, okay. So so meta sucks. stuff aside, yeah. <laughs> so this is this one was weird because the chancellor was supposed to look like this, but then he ends up looking like this because we couldn't afford an extra sprite. So I don't oh, know what, Chancellor, like, yeah. who this no, guy Chance is again. No, okay, so if you beat up the Chancellor, he teleports away and comes back. Oh, oh, no, you mean that? Yeah, okay, yeah, Dr. Wily. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's beat up the Chancellor, because fuck No, yeah. don't beat up the Chancellor, that ruins the quest. You have to talk to him and convince him. Okay, how it's supposed to be played is you're supposed to um, help both sides of the, you know, yeah. war, and then you convince him to um, re rebuild the gym. But to do that, you need to um, go into the virtual world, and you need to go into... Like, <laughs> are you going to show the virtual world? Because the virtual world's insane. It's the worst level in the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, the Chancellor in Uber Nerd Power Armor. You can tell it's the most powerful because it's red in color. Like... And as we all know, like red computers, red graphics cards, everything like is better in red. It ends up with um yeah this yeah, this, this doesn't is just a total directly. slap fight like literally like because this guy is so heavy that he can't get knocked off except by uh, your big kind of thing. 
Yeah, he doesn't actually, yeah. Okay, yeah, I knew the what's it called, spin kick, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and then this guy says, that cost me 40,000, somebody's going to lose a scholarship. Topical American education system oh joke. Oh god. <laughs> also, Warhammer <laughs> joke. <laughs> Did I break your model kit? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is believe the hype.jpg as a URL? That's not a URL, like, unless somebody <laughs> wants to post the URL thing. And now, like, this is, again, one of those things where, like, I just did something completely, like, out of character and, like, just beat up the, the, the nerd boss for no reason, like, as in the, the chancellor. So now, uh, like, we kind of go back to this guy and be like, to, in order to, like, expect a reward and stuff. But then this guy is like, like, he's not happy because... I don't remember you being this violent, Jared. Yeah, Why and because, that? like, <laughs> now, now in retaliation, like, the funding for his gym is going to be cut. So now, like, his gym is going to be demolished anyway. And now, like, here's him sending, like, his troops. This is a sting. Stand down, jocks come. Oh god, did you walk outside and all the... You know, what's it called? Um, everyone oh yeah, I, I could have yeah. just skipped, but, but whatever. Yeah. I'm going to beat these nerds up. That's just yeah, this is what happens if you beat up the nerds. Yeah. Like every world, all the nerds get aggro. Oh if my you god! Beat up like this, my game is lagging, and there's too many people. Oh my god! Yeah, there's there's like five <laughs> of these guys. Oh um, my god! Yeah, I can't play because Here, of the lag. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm just going to get beat up now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to die. Yeah. Thanks, Obama. Black <laughs> Ranger. Yeah, Yellow Ranger, Blue Ranger. What's Green Ranger? He, he, Green Ranger must be the slowest one. He's <laughs> What? <laughs> I fine, lost though. track of that conversation. Yeah, I, I've got beat up my Baba in my own game. Yeah. Huh, let's load up the other game. Uh, auto saves. Yeah, that was a feature that we had. Fuck. How 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 bad is this? Where where did we end up? Saving? Can't want to play for us. Yeah. Fuck. I don't care. Let's move on to something else. Let's go to don't go talk to Koala Man because hey, why the hell not? So Koala yeah, Man on. lives on a beach resort, like he's kind of a rich guy. So we kind of just wanted to like have a very fun, fun bat cave. So we, we so we made a bat cave with a tropical theme. This is probably my favorite level in the game, and it's yeah. probably the one with the most positions. <laughs> Yeah, it's also probably the most buggy, which is like saying something when we talk about will fight for food in these. No, parts. it's not that buggy. Like the final, <laughs> the, the actual encounter can be a bit weird, but. Okay, so this is uh, Koala Man, and what what what's he doing here? Uh, he's. Uh, uh, can somebody retweet the GOG thing? Because like I don't want to like. Stop I did playing the. Okay, cool. So. So this is a tropical theme version of the bat cave. He has a robot butler because like because we wanted to rip something off from, from Iron Man for once. Like not just be like, yeah. No, I don't believe Iron oh, Man had a robot butler at the time, did he? Is it Jarvis? Like I mean he's kind he of like a combination of Alfred and Jarvis, basically. But I don't I kinda had a big O flashback. flashback here, but I don't know why. <laughs> oh no, it does look like Big O as well, yeah. Oh yeah. So this is basically us trying to help him film an episode uh, of his season finale TV show. Yeah, it's so supposed to be to, a bit like... Um, yeah, so yeah. we have to collect hints from everyone. Be like, yeah, tell me about the start of the episode. So so, so I'll actually not... Uh, like, Because I have forgotten what this was actually. No, you, you need to do it. Like, You don't need to um, actually get it right. Just go do the scene, because it's still funny to see Dr. Shock, because Dr. Shock has got the best sprite in the game. Yeah. He is a fan of Koala Man, because obviously... Oh god, yeah, Koala fan as well. Yeah. So here you find out that he's actually cannibalized your uh, your persona into a yeah, Dino right Man villain. Yeah. And that's what he's <laughs> bringing you to play now. So that So this is kind of supposed to be like... A, a moment where you are like, uh, I hate this guy. <laughs> You've got a difference between yeah. the two. <laughs> Is the guy on the right supposed to look kind of like one of those drawings of 4chan? I don't know, like 4chan has a lot of drawings. Like a so let's try to just help him with this. I'm ready, let's do this. Brilliant. So they were recording this live, so we can't have retakes. 
All right, stop resisting the law. So what do we do again with this, Liz? Uh, so um, I'm just catching up, so I just need to remember what he says. Um, okay. Stop resisting the law. Oh, this is the worst, yeah, because you have to put your mask on during the fight as well. Okay, yeah, this yeah, is I a like problem. I like Dr. Shock. Yeah, I like, I like the, his, like, how we ended up visually. Like, mm. <laughs> I don't know. I just Pretty think, conniving. Yeah, I, I actually like yeah. him a lot. He runs out the Rocketeer. The best actor, yeah. yeah. Why do we have a dialogue called fishes? Like that, I never yeah, got that. Yeah, the joke was he's supposed to like fishes. He doesn't actually know what his character is, so I just wanted to say fishes. <laughs> huh. Okay. So, so what's like, um, next? I think you need to get two of them right. So, um. So do we say yeah, no more death say, after claw? You're supposed to act like the Hulk, so no more death after claw. Okay, let's do that. I think that's how you're supposed to. Okay, it. so no, but now Koala Man is like, you'll get your chance, and yeah. And <laughs> okay, so he calls him Electronies. Electronies, actually. Well, My great. God, like yeah. Cronies, yeah. Ratskan, like, See, yeah, I'm why funny. did I, like, yeah, we don't actually need you for the puns here. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, so. Power down his part or permanently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I think how it works is that if you, like, do all the right stuff, like, you don't have to fight him. Otherwise, like, you have to fight him. That's how it works. No, you have to fight him all the time. You have to beat up his two, um, you have to beat up all of his, um, cronies before you beat him up. So you have to beat up Dr. Shock last. Yep. Uh, so once again, Raptor very good at Smash. No, no points in guessing what that a reference is for. Yeah, then. I think that's the right one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or raw. No, no, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, let's just like go with the right away koala man, like as a Adam West kind of thing. Yeah, like you only need to get two out of the three things right. <laughs> so if you get the fight right, then he succeeds. If you get the fight wrong as well, then he's like rah. What's he punching? He's punching the bomb that's gonna blow up the whole sea. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you fix bombs, didn't you know? Like. So yeah, these people actually have like some sort of like ranged attacks other than just like the melee attacks. Well, oh they don't God, really have like, ranged attacks. These enemies keep on coming. What the hell? Yeah, is? like you're, like you're supposed to beat up the four cronies and then you beat up Doctor Shock. So if you okay. beat up um, any of the cronies, then they spawn another one. Oh, I see. Oh, nice. I love that. Hair. Like the Mohawks. Oh no, you beat up Doctor Shock first. Yeah. He didn't even get to use his super attack. That's lame. Yeah. His super attack's amazing. Yes! We did it! We beat Dr. Shock. Wait, wait, he doesn't like it, what the hell? Like, I, I thought yeah, I Yeah, because you beat up right. Dr. Shock! You're supposed to beat up his cronies, then beat up Dr. Shock. He's supposed to save <laughs> wow. him for finale. Like, yeah, that's just like, what the hell? Like, I'm gonna beat this guy up anyway, like, dude. Fuck you. Oh god, no, if you beat him up, I think Dr. Shock will attack you again, except he's like 12 times harder to kill, because huh. for some Why? reason Dr. Shock is super speed afterwards. Yeah. Take that establishment. Oh my god, like he has a double attack instead of a single one. Yeah. So I'll, yeah, this is actually just me backing him into a corner and just be like... <laughs> <laughs> rope a us the most rain. Yeah. Take us overpowered. So, so his dialogue, like, I love this one. I, this one is actually like one of my favorite lines because he says, this is like when he's dying, he says, Ow, I promise you'll be recast as a dreadful villain in the cartoon series. Which I don't know, I just like that. Like, <laughs> that's just, yeah. So yeah, that was Koala Man. Yeah. He's my he just, favorite guy. Yeah, Will Fight for Food, like, I think that that's why, like, it got a lot of stuff. Like, uh, like the people who liked it, they just liked it for the, like, sheer out of placeness of the combat. You could just be like, yeah, whatever the hell, I'm just gonna... Should we go to, um, the forest next, then? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually at the forest. Maybe, like, it's cool. just the delay, I guess. It's a main delay, yeah. For the forest, um, this is where Lily and, um, Mandrake are, and they're probably one of my favorite situations like literally supposed to be your ex-girlfriend yeah. who's these like these tables kind of actually required like <laughs> custom like custom coding from me like they really? don't look like that but like due to the nature of their placement they required custom coding so i had no idea yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. wait lily doesn't want to talk right now what the hell why lily why don't you want to talk maybe it's because we beat up like lou that's why we have we beat up Lou already? I don't think so. Like she oh, no, yeah. there we go. Huh. Yeah, that's actually no, one yeah. problem with me not reading anything in the journal. Like this big journal thing. So I don't know what what's up with everyone. 
Suddenly he doesn't like you anyway. Oh wait, no, okay, you loaded a different game, I think. Because oh. all of Mandrake's minions are gone. Holy shit, they are already dead. I loaded a game where I killed them all already. Yeah. They're already dead. Take yeah, a look see, around. You've wow. already killed all the furries. Wow. Okay, like, yeah. did, that, did that song actually make it outside the United States? Please tell me it didn't. Nope. I don't think it okay. did. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> It's it's like a glurgy song about like a soldier calling his kid and his kid's like Daddy when you're coming home Oh and God. he's like I'm already there take a look around I'm the, I'm the shadow on the wind I'm the whisper in your hair <laughs> What Like what the heck? Okay actually that's that does sound eerily familiar so it might have made it here <laughs> So here Can we have, uh, yeah, this is luchador, the scenario Lou. with Lou. Like, she's a luchador, and she was kind of like the best, like, fighter, like, more or less. Like, she kind of yeah. didn't win at the end because the, the other guy cheated. So, like. I think Patriot cheated. I think Patriots. Well, okay, so spoilers, they're all clones. Um, All the fighters are clones, and they were supposed to be rigged to win. Yeah, bet you didn't see that coming, like, that masterful, like, plot twist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Lou is just like, uh, like she was kind of like, like I, like at least in my head, like she was the best fighter and like she didn't win due to some underhanded tactics. So yeah, like she's, Patriots. she's pissed off. So like, yeah. because she had to like quit wrestling because of that. And now like she's kind of, uh, so she basically like dro drove her van into the city hall in mm. order to like get revenge because like this is a kind of over the top game because of this. So yeah, that's why there's so much security here. No, I remember this. I don't used have an have appointment. This, um... Huh? I don't have an yeah. appointment. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm just going to go like super pro establishment and beat up Lou. Just fuck oh, that. No, you can't beat up Lou because, yeah, I think if you beat up Lou, you do, you do get to see Patriot. Oh my God! Like, oh my, yeah, she has a. Oh my God! Yeah. My God, Neither. I suck at my own game. Like. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> facing the wrong direction <laughs> while punching her. Oh my god, yeah. If we ever do another game like this, we have to put Bogwan in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Link, link them awesome. to the, the, the Rocky Balboa thing. Like, okay, Balboa yeah, I'll go Alan. find it. Yeah. That was my favorite bug in the entirety of Unrest right there. Oh god. I had just implemented it, and yeah. I was like, how does this work? And I punched, and I was like, oh, yeah. I can punch, it's really good! And I was like, oh, wait, it's it's not so good. Yeah. So this is Patriot, like, he, he's that that's what he's called now, like, rather than Peter. So. Well, no, he was called Captain Patriot before. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, in, in game, like, to be yeah. honest, like, before I think it was called Peter, I don't know. Like, yeah, his real name's Peter. Yeah. Um, well, they all have real names, like... Lou is um actually Lou, and then you've got um Kim and uh, so Lily. So here the mayor just completely yeah. resolved us of all consequences of our very yeah. violent thing because yeah. To be fair, this guy is in Walter's back pocket as well, so he's technically yeah. a bad. Yeah, I actually feel sad. I chose this option, to be honest. Like. You sided with Walter, you monster. Yeah, is the hospital <laughs> thing yet? Oh, this is the end game thing, but it's not. Oh, have you got the hospital already? But it's no, not it's closed. Yet. You have to, um, so you've done Kim, you've done, uh, have, you, have you done Kim? Uh, we did the did suburbs, we did, uh, okay. Okay, so we did Lily, and then we, uh, okay, so the jocks love me now, wait, so the academy isn't done again. We did the resort, we did town hall. So you've done academy, you've done resort, you've done town hall. Um, you haven't done Kim, so you know to go beat up Kim, apparently. Oh. Wait, okay, downtown again? Like yeah, downtown, yep, downtown. Okay. Okay, so this time we'll take the, the beat of the police option because last time we took the beat of the mob option. So See, we have multiple endings. <laughs> yeah, like totally like 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 they are pretty much like uh like pretty much on the scale of like usual BioWare RPG stuff, beat the police or beat the like insurgents. <laughs> Patriot renegade. What the hell? Like she's, I need to beat her up. Get get yeah. Uh oh, Kim. Uh oh. oh Kim God, is actually yeah. pretty dangerous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kim, even by herself, is pretty dangerous. 
Oh fuck! Stop! Stop! Stop beating me up for fuck's sake! <laughs> Yeah, okay, that, we did that. Like, luckily, this guy was stuck along a wall, so we didn't have one other guy. <laughs> yeah, thank I don't God think for the, going outside. Thank God for the absolutely terrible pathfinding which we solved in Unrest. Oh, so, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you say we solved, like, okay, like, it, you're the only character that can walk properly, so. <laughs> well, the, the uh, what do you call it? Thug Stab Man is pretty. Yeah, that had Stabby guy has pretty good um, pathing actually. Way too good pathing actually. <laughs> Stabby guy is scary because if I put him back in, he would kill me in one hit, and he would always find me. And I'd be like, no, no, god, no! And I yeah, try to back up, but I couldn't like... get away in time. He's yeah, faster Stabby than guy, you. Like, he's kind of supposed to be scary. Like spoilers, by the way, mild spoilers. Like, <laughs> but yeah. So wait, who, like, who is left now? Like, I thought we had done all of them. Okay, so let's have a look at the um, journal. So we can have a look. Um, yeah, hang on. You might have to talk to um. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't Suburbs, think they Lily, kind of Academy, stuff. Resort, Town Hall, Downtown... So somebody's okay. asking, yeah. how much of the game has been shown on stream? This? Uh, unrest, that is. Uh, or like this one. Uh, I think he means this game, because the oh. frame skipping... Oh, this game. Of, um, this oh. Is, we've shown a lot of the game on stream, actually. Um, yeah, we've been playing I, it, this it can for be over really uh, quickly. roughly, I don't know, yeah. like... Uh, Go beat up Phyticus. That's. I think that's all you have to do now. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you have to beat this guy up again. Quite because of the academy, yeah. Yeah, uh, we've shown sort of like uh, I'd say fifty percent of the game, but but really like half of the stuff was lost while like the recording. So probably like add yeah. another fifteen minutes to it. Yeah, we've this shown guy a bunch is like of this guy's probably not. the easiest one to fight for me because he's he's the the big slow guy, so yeah. I can easily just like keep my distance and knock him back with my special attack. He also has the most boring attacks because so everybody had to fit into a 200 by 200 pixel frame and they all had to be in the middle so all of their attacks are really short range for some reason including Dr. Sean. Yeah and like like he even like manages to sneak a pun in like uh, this thing what do you call it in his losing dialogue. <laughs> sure put a dent in me because his name is Jared Dent get yeah. it Jared Dent put a dent in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> Wow, when Rutskan doesn't acknowledge your puns, like, yeah, that's just like... That's painful. funny, the We're game is funny. Rutskan isn't playing the game, that's the problem. <laughs> We're almost at levels right now. of... Yeah. Uh... And this is actually, like, the, like Unrest also has a Deus Ex reference. Kudos if you spot that, by the way. But, like, this also has uh, this thing. Uh, yeah, there, that was the phone ringing thing. That's the end game thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so, like, Jared Dent. Like, we called him because, like... JC Denton. So like he, his middle name is C something. I don't remember. His so name is also like JC Denton. So kind of he's J R Denton. J R D. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, like that, that's the reason we called him like J and D because like you know. Yeah. So this is the end game sequence which just completely goes off the rails. Like you'll see why. <laughs> it goes go completely the off the rails, but it was always planned to go off the rails. Yeah. So you go into the hospital and turns out there's cloning vents everywhere because there's these vats. And there's Pierre from the start, and then uh, there's like, yeah, the doctor, the evil doctor guy, because like, yeah, like in video games, I have never seen like a doctor on the good side. Even the the doctor in Metal Gear Rising is like morally questionable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's my favorite character though, so I, I forgave him that. <laughs> yeah. How did you? Yeah, I didn't even know Jared had a mobile phone, but hey. Yeah, okay, so Jared was supposed to have a mobile phone. And it, like, originally it was supposed to be, um, Pare, like, pretends to be his, um, grandma, who's sending him sweaters to give him stats or something. I can't remember. So, this is the end game thing. So, Pierre doesn't like Walter, and he wants us to help him double cross Walter. So, do we trust him or not? Like,. The stream, Guys. the stream will answer. Do yeah. we trust the French guy with the pencil moustache? This is more than I don't. Uh, <laughs> I think we should, personally. 
Yeah, once I said that, like, yeah, you, nobody trusts French people with, like, pencil moustaches. Like, that's just not a thing which, like, we do around. So, so yeah. I guess this game went out of its way to be stereotypical. Um, I'm a bad writer. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like, I, like, like this, this is completely from me. Like, it's kind of, like, over the top. And oftentimes, you, the, the people do, like, uh, like step away from that like especially when you like use violence i think that's where like the game shines in the reactions to mm. people's violence because nobody reacts like they're supposed to in a video game when you use violence to solve it it's always like what the fuck did you do why didn't you just like <laughs> like d use like use your brain or stuff so like I, I, a like good example is like i really like the yakuza games so i do they took a lot of ideas from yakuza for this but um it's a good point, but like, in the Yakuza games, like, violence is, like, the best way to solve things. Like, he'll beat up somebody because they dented their car or something, and it's like, I hope you learned your lesson about denting your own car by punching you. It's like, what? <laughs> Kazuma! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so here's the, the big twist. So, so Jared was one of the eight prototype fighters constructed in this hospital. That's why... He can't remember his past. Duh. Like, yeah. Amnesia, amnesia. Like, you know. <laughs> yep. The Dark Descent. Yeah. No, I mean, the other one. You know, the hero has amnesia and, like, they can't remember yeah. his past. Yeah, oh. Japanese trope. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Jared is yes, flown. I, I already spoiled this, though. Why are we worrying about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it turns out that not only does our DNA make us a good fighter, but also a great actor, because obviously, you know, wrestling and stuff. Yeah, yeah, signs and stuff, Pierre, like that, that should be a quote on the box, like, yeah, yeah, signs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, signs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, we need your blood to corrupt the DNA sequence in the clone machine. Once Walter can't make any fighters, his empire will crumble. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Can't see any, like, whole logical holes there. But hey. Walter is easily my so favorite what character. What makes my so DNA we'll so that. special? No time to explain. Yeah, that, that will turn out well. So let's do it, whatever the hell. Yeah, it took Pierre like five minutes to double cross us. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it turns out like our blood makes them stronger for some for because reasons. Like, yeah, don't ask me why. I don't remember like the plot of this game anymore. So I will teach you to trust French people with with pencil this, mustaches. Like, this was literally oh, the yeah, plot yeah. of like a, a terrible anime I watched. <laughs> I'm not joking. It, it was like they they cloned people to have like special underground clone matches that rich people would pay money for, and they had the most ridiculous faces. Oh my god! Oh, okay, I got my mask on, so that's something. Wait, Pierre can stun me. Holy shit! Yes, Pierre has like the most annoying attack in the game. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I know. I need to like I need to st get them into. I need to. Yeah. Okay, now that I've turned around. <laughs> oh fuck. This is really interesting to watch because it it looks like you're discovering your own game. Yeah, now now I can't even. Oh my god! Like I hadn't saved. God damn it! <laughs> now it's crashed. Saved, oh my god! Yeah. It crashed. No. Yeah. I think that's a good point. Time to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So today. So okay. Yeah. That's enough for will fight for food. I guess then. Um, we won't, we haven't like. Okay. Yeah. There's just like some end game remaining. We can talk over unrest now because, like, that's kind of like. Huh? Something is happening. I can't. Oh wait, it's the, it's Procaster. I can't click on anything. That's. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. My internet died. Yep. There we go. That's unrest. Yeah. A new game. Anyone else? Like, did I disconnect? Like, anyone? Everyone else here? Like, say There's something on Skype. Either, I'm either. here. Okay. Cool. So yeah, that was Will Fight for Food. Pretty crazy. Like, I don't even. Yeah. Like, what was that? Like, even I. Don't I really remember. like the game. Like, it's still fun. 
So uh, what are we going to be doing with Unrest? Because we did say, sort of say that we don't want to just be like, Hey guys, check it out. We're playing the game before you can play the game. I yeah, guess we'll just, we can like, just... We'll just the let off. the credits roll, I guess. Because yeah, okay, yeah. that sounds good. Because it's our Kickstarter thing, we can talk in the background. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. So, so yeah, uh, yeah, now would be a good time to ask us questions, actually, if you have any. Or we can just like discuss like uh, us making the game and stuff. So I'm gonna go yeah. half an hour to release. Less than half an hour actually. Let me look. Like that's on Steam. Like it's already on Google Games, I guess. Yeah. And on Green Man Gaming as well, I believe. Yes, yeah. Green Man Gaming's had it for a while. Yeah. Uh, th th no, they I, only I like, mean... give you Steam keys. So like Green Man Gaming, like oh, is yeah, actually yeah, yeah. so. It's like okay, Steam yeah. anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, of course. I that's forgot that part. Did you guys get many pre-orders slash orders? I don't actually know yet. Like, I mean, we, get, we got the, we like, the Kickstarter thing, but then I actually don't know yet. I'm hoping like we do, like, you know, because like, yeah, that would be nice, you know, pre-orders and, and like people buying the game and stuff. Did we get many pre-orders slash orders? Do we even know the answer to that question? Um, no. Uh, Mick and I checked, um, where was it? Green Man Gaming, like the first day we put it up there, and we had like 60. And actually right now, Green Man Gaming says 80. It says 80 total players. I'm thinking they only show the ones that have bought through them, but I'm not sure. Oh, uh, pretty yeah, sure I'm they have. Yeah, I'm thinking they, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, ex I never expected many people to buy it from Green Man Gaming. Yeah. So uh -huh. I think 80 from there is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Especially um, at pre-order. I just noticed our DLC upgrade for Unrest is a bit weird on um, good old games. Why? Yeah, good old games so, don't handle yeah. the like special stuff very well. Yeah, unfortunately. Because the actual game is like $13 and then the DLC is $13. But the edition is just 22 so... You'd end up paying twenty six in total. Is Unrest launched on Steam yet? Like half an hour, like twenty minutes. Yeah, actually, twenty minutes. Yeah. Recorded. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it's almost there, guys. Twenty minutes, yeah. nineteen minutes, and forty seconds. Man, now I'm suddenly just as I nerves, said that. Yeah. Five seconds passed. Are we still recording? Uh, yeah, we are. I think so. Oh wait, lost right. internet connection. Ah, fuck. Oh no. <laughs> I I was on Hitbox and my stream was working okay, but then I didn't have a flight for food and yeah. I could still stream me playing horrible games like Lords of Shadow. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so the I hope we're back. Attempting to reconnect now still. Oh god. I'll just upload this stuff on YouTube. But but like then half of the video will just be us cursing at this. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, it yeah, should save a copy brain. of this, but yeah. That was that was important holding music for our important <laughs> customers. Yeah, I think it's back. I think it's back. I don't know. Like, 
Oh, let me look. Um, I see the credits, and they're scrolling, so... Okay. So that's good, yeah. Oh, man. I'm just nervous now. Like... Yep, oof. I think we're all yeah. a bit nervous. Yeah. Like, 17 minutes until launch, until we find out that the game doesn't work for anybody and that everything is terrible. Yeah! <laughs> oh Pessimism! God. No, the actually... demo release was fine. The demo release was good. The demo release proved to us that the final game will work fine. The demo okay. release actually had an ending that may have crashed the game or something that I hadn't accounted for and we put a patch out but it was days later and no one found it so good oh, good so crash no one <sighs> found yeah alright that's the credits done hmm nah I'm just yeah this, this is the kind of thing because whereas now like I'm sort of running out of words to say because of the sheer nervousness because like when you work yeah. on something for a an year and then let's like yeah Suddenly it's a year like, two. Yeah, two years actually. So then like it's suddenly like out in the open and like it's kind of like, you know, like like and now you have to You're like like just trust other people to like it it's literally judgment day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you are the captain of this ship. You, yeah. You have designed this ship, you have crewed this ship, we have set sail, and we're about to find out if we're going to sink to the bottom or float onto wonderful seas. Anthony Birch likes our game, so Yay! that's good news. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna send him an email thanking him for saying that. Oh, I agree with all of you, but it's also flipping off some. Yeah. Yeah, the mode yeah, okay. happens we've yeah, released you know the game. What? Kick ass. It's completely awesome you know to be here, like, I don't know, 14 months later for me, 15, 14 probably, something like that. And now it's done, and now it's out in, like, 15 minutes. You know what? You're right, Mick. Mm. The trademark Baltic optimism is really shining <laughs> through and putting us to shame. Yes, because us Estonians are known for our optimism. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, this is absolutely amazing. This has been the worst year of my life, honestly. And the release has just made it so much better. Like, oh my god, we actually released a game. Hooray. Yeah. Yeah. This is an awesome game. Yeah, we did a fucking good job. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks us, yeah. We are so good. <laughs> but yeah, We're like, I hope all of you like it. Like, uh, I think, like, in the reviews that we have, like, the appeal of the game has shown through. Uh, this is a game about the plot and such, you know, not about like, like you know, combat I think or whatever. It, exactly. The kinesthetics. Mm -hmm. yeah, even 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 our worst reviews uh, praised our writing and praised the story and praised all of that. Yeah, yeah that's what we made the game for. I mean, like exactly. our worst like, reviews praised our writing the most, which was baffling. Unrest is a pretty good story, but I couldn't kick flip an ollie over a half pipe in it. So, <laughs> so that's, that's the thing, it usually wasn't Unrest is a pretty good story, it was Unrest is a really, really good story, and I haven't seen these options in a game before, but, uh, 6 out of 10. <laughs> but there wasn't a cooking sim there, there wasn't enough cooking simulator gameplay in it, so 6 out of 10. That's, that's from a bizarro world, where the RPG genre is strongly associated with cooking sims instead of murdering orcs. <laughs> I could even catch a fish. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, though, you know, can't really, like, complain, I guess. Everyone. I mean, yeah. it's just, like, I guess that's just the world we are in. Though I do hope that, like, people uh, kind of, you know, like, see the appeal that we saw in this. And, like, I mean, obviously, Kickstarter backers, which are, like, like, mm. which also did, like, see the appeal of this kind of game. So, yeah, I'm hoping so. Uh, yeah, honestly, I, 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 I don't feel, feel bad for disappointing GameSpot. Or GameStop? Which one was it? GameSpot. <laughs> I always get... Yeah, no, I, I know that there's only, like, one <laughs> GameSpot, one GameStop. But I get them mixed up sometimes for some reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know I know that, you know, GameSpot was never going to like the game. I mostly want to see how well, the backers feel about it. They did like it. It was a really good review, honestly, but they gave us a 6 out of 10, so it l makes it look like well, a bad Okay, review. yes. They wrote a really positive review, and then they give us a 6 out of 10, like, haha, fuck you, Metacritic. It, it's kind of the anti-IGN effect. Yeah. Mm. And that 
that pretty much was because of polish and and things which we simply couldn't do because we're a small indie team oh. with a low budget mm. yeah Oof. but yeah like on the positive side like i think like all of you will pretty much enjoy the story like that's one thing which you are very proud of and like oh yeah definitely no i'm really proud of all of it i think it's an awesome game yeah and just like just so that we are not the only ones saying it like there are a lot of reviews saying that yeah. as well uh, yes yeah. well yeah the reviews have ranged from uh, 6 points out of 10 to 9 points out of 10 Yeah. Averaging at about seven and a half to eight. So, if any of you are a viewer, you can give us a ten out of ten and be the very first. No one's touched <laughs> that number yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know if that's going to be a compelling pitch. Slides <laughs> 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 less. Yeah. Yeah. Again, these kind yeah. of things just make us nervous because, as developers, like, a, like there are like a. Hundred different. Uh, uh, there are a hundred different like factors which determine whether your game is a success or not, and you have control mm. over like thirty of them. Like the rest, all of them is like, like on the like if like somebody like retweets it or if somebody like makes a fav like a famous YouTuber covers it or something. Or whatever kind of voodoo necromancy Monaco did to get product placed in several other games. Yeah, that, you know, that's actually kind of... yeah, that's actually like if you are kind of like there's a bunch of like indie developers who often do that like same with Super Meat Boy. Yeah, there's lots of friends in independent community, and um, because we're such an international team, we don't really get to go to the bars with them. So. <laughs> yeah. The most we can basically do is tweet at them. Hmm. I mean, we could probably get like um, like we could probably talk to the Bone Loaf guys and get a couple of our characters and um. Oh, uh, gang beasts! If we wanted to, because um, I talk to them occasionally when it comes to um, meetings and stuff. But yeah, I, I think uh, Bog One definitely needs to be in gang beast. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to play like a unrest fighting game. Yeah, that would just be <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. Here's you your combat. <laughs> you joke about this, but I have got the idea of a will fight for food too in my mind, where it's like. We'll fight for food too, as in everyone wants to fight as well. So you actually have a fighting game with all the fighters from Will Fight for Food in it. <laughs> It'd be Bob just like Street Fighter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I guess another thing which like well, like a like a lot of like the reason which I am like completely not able to say anything right now is because uh, there's not enough layers separating like the game from us. So often, like you know, you, uh, like you see a the reviewer that was sort of negative, and you kind of take it personally because. Really, like this is a game that you made. Like usually, like if you are a 50 odd team, you can mm. rationalize saying that level level the stuff I did was good, the stuff yeah. that the like the other 49 people did was was what sunk the game. But when it's like a game with like just five people and all of us did like like either did feedback or like somehow influenced all of the other things, then it's kind of hard. Like it like sometimes mm. it just like be like yeah, but but like and this is actually not a thing because like unrest is getting positive reviews. But like it's the the thing in the human psyche where you only focus on the negative parts, I guess. Well, even that we find the game enjoyable. We think it's a good game. We think we've done a good job. So if somebody says it's a bad thing, then it's like, well, that's your opinion, man. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah. I mean, this happens with like tons of games. Like, um, I think like so near. That's a good example. Like near got. Pretty middling reviews, but um, if you look up with like the people who like Nier, it's like wow, Nier was amazing. Like literally was amazing, but had some really big flaws. But tons of people liked it. Yeah, kind of so like that movie. Uh, was it Push or something like that? I really, really liked that movie, and it had like middling to average reviews, and nobody else has ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I think you would like it actually. I'll check it out then. Push, as in P U S H. Yeah, it's it okay. involves telekinetics fighting in in Hong Kong and stuff. So. Oh no, telekinetics! You ruined it already. I hate it. <laughs> uh, where's the word I can't? Yeah. It's just X Men, except everyone's Xavier. <laughs> uh, okay, no, no, it's not like that. It has the same. It's just like X Men. It's, it's pseudo similar though. Yeah, it has people with powers in in Hong Kong. Hey, I think it's the way. 
it really sells the idea of being set in Hong Kong, though. Like, mm. it, it did the Watch Dogs thing before Watch Dogs did it. Okay. It's really cool. And, like, okay, like, as an actual story, it kind of falls flat because it's, it's like, the first half of the plot, and they're, like, expecting another movie that never happened. So, oh. so there's that. But it Is has, it like, like that some one pretty that Samuel cool Jackson ideas. was in? Oh, what's it called? Um, I, I want to say, say Sliders, but it isn't Sliders. The one where yeah, people I know, can teleport I, around the world. I never actually saw that one, but yeah. It, it's not very good. <laughs> well, like, because, like, the, the idea was that the main character is, like, living in Hong Kong on the run, sort of, and he's been there for a long time, and he uses his ability to, like, push dice around to cheat at yeah. dice games. So it's like the episode of Avatar with Toph. Yeah, and he, he runs into trouble with, like, the local crime boss and stuff like that. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, man. Like, there's just so much stuff, like, else to do now. Like, there's, like, social media posting on, like, the 50 forums and stuff. Yep. Now we need to go around saying, hey, everyone, buy our game, buy our game, buy our game. Can we get a video of that? Buy my book. <laughs> <laughs> buy my book. Buy my book. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to say that again. Like, I've, I've heard enough of that, like, <laughs> for a lifetime. <sighs> So, like, do we call it here? Or, like, because everyone should, like, basically be, like, playing Unrest in 10 minutes. Yeah, so, it comes in 5, 6 uh, minutes. So do we want to, yeah? I don't know, do we want to hang out until that happens? Or do we want to just, like, drop out now and, you know, go out on a high note? Well, like, I guess, like, if there's any questions that are left, uh, we can sort of, like, answer them. Otherwise, yeah, we can just, like, call it and, like, just wait for everyone to play it. Five minutes and thirty-eight seconds. I think we can call it here. I think the only question is Dakota oh, Fanning. Is, is that a quote? Oh, she was in. Uh, she was in Push. Oh, okay. She's like an immortal vampire, by the way. She never ages. It's freaking weird. Well, that sounds cooler. Jeez. They should just made the whole movie about vampires in Hong Kong. <laughs> no, I didn't mean in in the movie. I meant in real life. Oh, well, uh, that's scary. I didn't want to know there were vampires for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, in, in the movie, she's like a psychic. Or, no, uh, sorry, a precognitive. Oh, so she's a um, she, minority. She draws, the, she draws crappy pictures of the future because she can't draw. Yeah, so she's minority report, huge crime. Except minority report was a creepy clone lady with no hair. I don't think she was a clone lady. Like, I think there was a lady and a dude, wasn't there? I can't remember. There were like three of them, and there were two dudes and one lady, and they were all uh, yeah. hairless and, and and freaking the Matrix all over again. Then Timothy Dalton saves them all, and you know they live yep. happily ever after. That was a weird thing. That and may have been less creepy. Do 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 do. Siblings. Da -na 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 -na. What? What? Okay, um, I think like before everyone just like st starts like meddling their own like tune we should probably call it yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay fair enough anyway thanks everybody for hanging out uh yeah. we're pretty much yeah i'm just yep. launching in like five minutes or so so if yep. you're on steam you can just leave for a bit and then come back and you'll be like oh boy i have chocolate and unrest yeah if you get chocolate when you leave which is a plot hole it's a good thing i'm <laughs> writing this one les yeah. <laughs> what, what, how is chocolate a plot hole? It's always a plot hole. When, 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 was this, when did this become a story? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, on that note, yeah. Yeah, we're launching. Make a bug report. <sighs> Thanks for hanging out, everyone. You made yeah, us feel better. See you guys. Yeah. See ya. Alright.